and our cameraman's giving us a thumbs up. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, introduce yourself and introduce the AHDB, introduce why we're here, and introduce why we're going to be talking to the esteemed Joe, please. Good morning, Steve. all. Mark Campbell from the Agri Leader team at AHDB. Um, I'm in, in the God's Country, all the way up from Sussex. Um, and we're talking to Joe Seal. Fantastic. Joe, yep. introduce yourself, please. Um, okay, so I'm just Joe Seals, I'm just a farmer um, from South Yorkshire, we've got beef and arable. Um, and yeah, I just started on TikTok, what is it, wow. maybe seven or eight months ago. Um, now got 42,000 followers, I think, on 42, TikTok. 42,000, okay. Yeah, and then started a, started a YouTube, and yeah, that's flying up as well, we've got like 10,000 people. So, so, so talk, talk us about um, TikTok, because in, in the uh, panel just now, there was um, quite a lot of conversation um, about, the, um, about social media, um, about how it's such a good, positive thing to be able to influence the, the whole sector. This whole thing that we always talk about, Mark, about six out of 10 kids don't know where um, fruit and veg and, and even, even bread comes from. So to yeah. have influencers, like, like yourself. So what, what would your advice be? The, your, I don't like uh, influencers. Yeah, but you've got yeah, 40,000 yeah, 40, yeah. 40, people who, yeah. who want to see your content. With the likes of TikTok, what are you saying? What are you doing? What, what, what are you showing? So I'm just, just showing what we do day to day on farm. So um, we've got a young apprentice that works with us, Emily, um, a young girl. She's not from a farming background and things like that. So she has a lot of the questions that maybe the public might have. Oh, um, so that's a great like sort of I'll be teaching her a little bit about what we're doing and then she'll come up with like um, a, a, a silly question and then we'll answer it and it's all just like in an entertainment form yeah. but it's getting the positive message about farming out there to to the public yeah. and yeah it just the, the comments that we get back about the positivity that we're putting across and sort of um, the, the way that we're teaching Public, yeah. Yeah. And, and there's this big in, influence in the, in the respect of we want to get so many more people into this in this sector, whether it be Talking Leaders campaign um, or the Future Farmer campaign. So if we can get people who aren't in agriculture interested in, in agriculture because of, yeah. because of you, is, is that sort of your yeah, that's is that it, your that's raison d'etre? Is that one of the reasons why you're doing yeah, that? Yeah, one of yeah one of the main reasons is like I think there's a lot of industries out there that young people can go into and I think some people see agriculture as a bit of like a, a closed off industry where well if you don't have some land and if you don't have some yeah. cattle and if you don't have like um, a family that's involved in it then it's not something that you can get into and that's what I've tried to put across to people that like look we want you to come and work in, in farming and um, we're, we're an industry that's cry, crying out for people um, all the time like we're, we're we're sort of not getting people from abroad anymore. We need homegrown talent and we need good people to come into to farming. And I think showing it as um, this positive, inclusive industry where anyone can come and, come and work is yeah, just key, really. Because we, we always say this expression, would you, Mark, would you like to be an accountant? No offence to accountants. <laughs> or, or would you like to work in farming? Same, same, cho yeah. same, same question, Joe. It's, and that's why we need you to not, not influence, educate us. Yeah, as to yeah, how yeah exciting. just help people. And, 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 and so with, with farmers, would you, would you recommend that they do what you do and create social media um, channels? And perhaps yeah. not to your level, but just to yeah, inform the, 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 the local village, the local area, the local surround. Yeah, I think it's a, a great idea. It's got like positives for your business, even if like you don't see it straight away. Like you might have a workforce now and then you lose a member of staff. Like how does that person that is the future person that you're going to employ know what their job's going to be about and what what your business is about? You can just say, look, here's my social media. There's, you know, this is as grain carting. This is as tilling the land. You know, there's all these different things that show show people. So you're just you're providing doing. that link. You're making it easy for the general public to have an understanding of what you do in the industry and hopefully breaking some of the stereotypes of what agriculture is actually about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see all these like grumpy old farmers and things like that. And you just what are you like, going to say there? <laughs> <laughs> and so you just like try and, yeah, just, uh, yeah. here we are, this is it, this is what okay. we're doing. Okay, Joan, here's the big question about social media. 10 years ago, we, we didn't know it was going to be here. 25 years ago, we didn't know mobile phones were going to be here. Where do you think social media, the likes of TikTok and YouTube, is going to be here in 10 years time? What, what's Emily going to be doing to educate that, uh, that, that sector to come on in? Um, yeah, I think it's just growing and growing all the time, isn't it? I mean, um, sort of five and five and ten years ago, I wouldn't have thought that my mum and my dad would be using social media, and now they're like <laughs> on Facebook, and yeah. you know, and, and and the older generation that come into the yard and say, "I've seen you on TikTok, and I, I watch all your YouTube and things like that," and it's like, well, 
didn't think this this wasn't like that yeah. target audience at first. So it could go anywhere, I think. And I think it's only going to grow. I can't see it. Um, I can't see it going, going away. Go on, what I was going to say is that it's just another form of embracing technology. Which we think about embracing technology is the magic gadget that a cow wears or that yeah. fancy sensor that's on the combine but actually engaging with social media telling your story yeah, yeah. is an is a stepping stone to, to, to engage to yeah let's tell it let's tell it from the farmer's point of view not from um yeah. which are then spinning to help better lead your business yeah 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 so how can everyone find out about you um so it's joe seals um on tiktok and joe seals on youtube or i've got joeseals.com as well selling <laughs> merchandise and things like that who did, who, I, honestly a year ago i would have never thought this i was not into social media or anything like i had facebook but didn't really use it and now yeah i'm making videos every day um, and blogging about my life so yeah. uh, we, just give it a go guys i have got to go there's a hundred people behind uh, <laughs> I, I, I think our camera man. What, what did you waiting for a shirt yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so thanks much to... joe and um yeah brilliant no no thank Keep you up. thanks a lot guys thank you. future leaders future here's leaders. one thank you <laughs> Cheers. thank you thank you